With this carefully curated selection of travel activities, our next innovation helps consumers discover amazing experiences, while its activity partners attract a stream of worldly travelers. Here with a new take on travel activity planning and booking is Rizana Bashir from Peak. Hi there, let me start by telling you a little bit about our company. So, um, I went to Oxford and Harvard Business School, and I worked at Goldman Sachs, Blackstone, and Gilt Group before starting Peak. My co-founder, Oscar Bruning, studied at MIT, and he spent the last 10 years at top value companies like VMware and Symantec. Peak launched last year, and we're backed by a great set of investors, including Eric Schmidt, Jack Dorsey, David Bonderman, and Brad Gerstner. So, what is Peak? Well, we're a technology company that helps activities operators to manage their business and find new customers. I'm sure many of you have seen the tours and activities market evolve a little more slowly than some other sectors, um, but we think it's finally ripe for disruption. So, why? Well, first off, it's massive. The total addressable market is about $35 billion, and it's really fragmented and thousands of operators. Second, there's no global distribution system like there is for airlines or hotels. This means that although 80% of consumers are looking for activities online, less than 30% of operators have any form of online booking. And finally, mobile is a true game changer. Now consumers can be spontaneous. They can book activities in destination or on the go in a way they could never do it before. It greatly expands the market opportunity, but it also makes real-time availability absolutely essential. So, Peak is split into two components. The first is Peak.com, which is a one-stop shop to help users like you, you and me um, to be able to book great things to do. We've scaled Peak.com into 20 regions, including San Francisco, New York, London, and Paris. As soon as we launched, we quickly realized that our users expected us to have instant confirmation for our bookings. But that could only be possible if we had full access to the calendars and, and availability of all of our operators. To be able to bridge that gap, we built a suite of tools in order to help operators manage their business. Now, these two elements work in an incredibly symbiotic way. And we've been making money from day one with bookings through Peak.com and through our operator tools. I'm going to kick off by showing you Peak.com which is a beautiful online marketplace which showcases activities with stunning photos and excellent editorial. Now, this is our homepage. We can click into our San Francisco region. Here, you can see group activities into intuitive categories, like fun for locals or what to do with kids. Let's click into the off-the-beaten-path category. Here, you can actually see one of my personal favorite things to do, which is a seaplane tour over the Golden Gate Bridge. There's multiple photos, we have a map, a live availability calendar, and all the details you need to be able to easily book. On peak.com, we also have tastemaker perfect days. Now, these are influencers such as fashion designer Tori Birch or TV host Piers Morgan, giving you insights on the favorite things they like to do in a city and the best places to see. This is Wolfgang Puck's perfect day in Los Angeles. He tells you to go biking along the Santa Monica boardwalk, thinks you should pop into the Getty Center and visit his favorite sushi restaurant, Urasawa. So, what are the results of this? Well, it turns out 
that users absolutely love Peak. Within a month of launching, we were featured on the cover of the New York Times section, travel section, um, where they called us a site you want to visit again and again. And Time Magazine selected us as a top travel tool. Building a great product and brand has lent itself to us being able to attract the top operators in every single market. So whether it's the Empire State Building or the Moulin Rouge, we're able to work with everybody. In fact, there are some operators that won't work with any third parties, like Tribeca Film Festival, who are working with Peak. It means that there's thousands of activities that are available to book and buy on Peak. It's also led to partnerships with some of the top travel companies in the world, including US Airways and Virgin America. So, with Peak, we have a winning brand, significant geographic coverage, rapid growth, and a clear revenue model. But what gets us really excited is being able to solve the day-to-day -day problems of our operators. So today, I'm pleased to introduce you to Peak Professional. Of course, we have all of the basics that an operator needs to run his or her business. So you can take these things for granted. We have inventory management tools. We have reporting dashboards. We have a mobile optimized experience. But why don't we get into the good stuff, the innovations, the things that are different? They include resource management, CRM functionality like email templates, and customer reviews. I'm going to walk you through one of the first things, which is how operators can utilize our resource management functionality in order to automate the process of assigning guides or other resources to their daily inventory. As you can see, they can really easily reassign a guide or another piece of another resource, um, and they're able to easily email manifests to their guides before a tour so that they have all the information that they need. Next, we can take a look at the fact that we have these customizable views that give operators valuable insights in an instant, just looking at their calendar. So for example, let's look at the availability view. Here, an operator is able to see the capacity for each scheduled activity. It's these simple features that really make a big difference to a busy owner. You can see the black and green dots. Next, we can look at a heat map. The heat map inverts the colors so an operator can get a bird's eye view of when they're the busiest. Last, we can look at our fully customizable post-booking email platform that helps operators to easily communicate with their customers. They're able to send confirmation, reminder, and cancellation emails. They can also create custom emails like a weather update. Peak Pro also offers an integrated review system. What that means is that our operators are able to get customer feedback. They can use the good feedback in order to be able to market themselves, but they can also use the negative feedback in order to be able to respond to complaints in a timely manner. So with that, you can see that operators really love Peak Pro. In fact, here is a testimonial from a local Miami Speedboat tour company. What they really loved was the ease of use of Peak's tools and the fact that our in-house customer support team provided them with all of this help. We've also seen Peak Pro revenues grow pretty rapidly over the last few months as more and more vendors are able to use our platform. They're also able to get additional bookings through peak.com. So frankly, this is just the beginning for us in order to be able to fundamentally transform the activities market, you need to do a couple of things. You need to seamlessly integrate a world-class back-end solution with a winning consumer front-end. And that is exactly what we're doing. So I'm really excited to be able to share that with you guys at Focusrite today and look forward to meeting you all. Thanks so much. Great, uh, great presentation, Rosanna. You know, I can't help but think that you're doing two very different things. You're marketing tours and activities with Wolfgang Puck and these incredible curated experiences on peak.com and with partners. And then you're also selling very unsexy software to tours and activities providers, which is feet on the street or in a call center, door to door, small dollar sales to, to companies. And I just wonder if they can coexist in the same business, especially a startup that has challenges solving one of those problems, let alone both. Um, uh, both interesting things, both potentially very interesting things to do. I just wonder how you can how you can manage to do both, and whether you can keep this curated brand at the same time that you're that you're really a, a SaaS company. 
Yeah, the thing that I didn't fully understand, but I guess I just missed it, is it sounds like uh, Peak Pro is supposed to be sort of like open table is for restaurants run their, their full inventory set there and so on. Um, and listen, that may be true, but I would agree that that's a sales game. That's a completely different thing. And these are great products, but you know, you can put all the great products you want out there and they, you have to somehow beat the, the guy who's running the speedboat thing off an Excel spreadsheet and it works for him today. You got to get in there and do it and you got to make sure your cost of sales is low enough you can afford to do it. And most of these sales, I can't imagine there's a lot of money in them when they're small either. So I just, I worry a little bit about your economics. Unless you can really generate a lot of demand through peak.com, and you know, then you're in the nice position where they kind of have no choice but to use your extranet. I mean, not that I know anything about businesses like that, but it, it, it's <laughs> handy when that happens. Yeah, I, I sort of felt the same thing around the two separate pieces that, you know, didn't, don't know if they can really coexist, but I, I also wonder about sort of the authenticity. So you've got this kind of curated Wolfgang Puck experience, and, and I actually looked at it and I was like, Wolfgang did not write that, his PR guy did, right? That's my impression, okay? Now I could be right or wrong or whatever, but I wonder sort of whether there's that level of authenticity or whether, you know, and, and we just got done looking at uh, another, um, another team that, that had developed, um, you know, kind of curated itineraries from people who've actually been there. So, you know, I sort of felt like, where's going to be the level of authenticity? And, and what I would actually do to measure the authenticity is I would go to YouTube and I would watch some lady from South Florida who uploaded a video of that boat ride to see what really happened. Um, so I just wonder, you know, about how you can bring that authenticity back into, especially when you're looking at the kind of the curated results. Sure thing. Well, I'll kick off by kind of showing, I completely agree with you, there are two elements to this. And we absolutely actually are very rapidly profitable with everyone that we're bringing on board. Um, so our sales process is very swift and we're able to do that. Um, if you look at, there are companies like Trulia or companies like Uber who've actually really effectively created online marketplaces with all of the SaaS tools in the, in the, alongside it. So you definitely see there's a huge potential here. Um, it's definitely challenging, but we've been able to do it so far and be able to bring peak.com and um, the SaaS tool, Peak Pro, together for merchants. In terms of being able to help showcase the best activities, completely agree with you, authenticity is important. But actually, a lot of what's missing in this market is just the fundamental booking technology. Mm -hmm. And that's why Peak Pro is so important. Yeah, yeah. Because the fact is that even if you go and watch that YouTube video of the South Florida lady, the fact is that if you go to that operator, you won't be able to book on their site. And yet, we've been trained by OpenTable and Uber to expect instant booking, and we just don't have it in this market. And so that's the fundamental thing that we're building, and that's been lacking for a long time. And okay. until you had mobile and real-time availability, you couldn't have it in this market. So we're excited to be able to bring that forward. Um, and I think that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. 